we'll start over here um, into the third round again. Um, talk us through that that match today. Uh, tough opponent, but got through it. Um, yeah, today was definitely very difficult. I haven't played her, or ironically, I haven't played Ons either, I think since the WTA Rising Stars thing that we all played, so um, I only had memories of that to pull from. But um, yeah, it's really hard to play a player like her because I, I never know when she's going to swing for the ball or anything. Happy that I was able to do it in two. All right, we will go to English questions in the room to start. Please raise your hand. Yep, go ahead. Um, if you looked at your draw coming in, you had two pretty challenging opponents the first couple rounds. Um, are you surprised by how easily you handled both of those matches? And what does that say about your current form? Um, honestly, I don't really try to look at the draw. Um, the only reason why I kind of knew who I might play these first couple rounds is because... Um, of social media <laughs> like they um people was at me um but yeah i i don't know as a player you always expect to play tough matches that's sort of what you brace yourself for but at the same time you also want to be able to have the opportunity to play um easier matches like you want to play good enough for it to be easier so um i'm not really too sure Go ahead. And why do you think you haven't played a night match in a while here? Are you liking these night matches? Yeah, I mean, I like night matches. I think my night match record is pretty good in New York and here. Um, uh, I also have really fond memories. And I. Did you ask me if I think. Why don't I think I play a lot of yeah, night Yeah, were you surprised that, that you hadn't played more? Uh, no, honestly, I was surprised that today I was playing a night match. I, I was kind of expecting to play earlier. All right, we will move online to English questions. If you have an online English question for Naomi, could you please use the raise your hand function? Let's start with... Our first question from the National Ream. Your question, please. Hi, Naomi, congrats. Hey. So you, got to play, you got to play Ons next, and she told us that she really wants a football contract, a soccer <laughs> contract with you. <laughs> uh, would you consider that? And just my second question is, what do you make of her progress this past year? She's obviously become a much better player. What do you make of it? Thanks. Yeah, um... It's funny, whenever I bump into her um, in the halls or anything, she always surprises me with something. Um, but yeah, I I don't think I have that much jurisdiction, but she's super talented in everything she does, so I'm sure if she really wanted to go for it, she could. And what I think about her um, rise, I always felt like watching her, um, she's a player that can do anything. And I, I always felt like she should be where she is now and even higher so uh, for me I think it's really nice to see her doing well and I hope that um, I don't know I hope that she continues to do well because for me I feel like she's one of those people that you just love to see grow and um, I just really like her and her personality I think it's really good for the game thank you our next question from the WTA Courtney Naomi, I'm I'm curious if um, at the the way that you handle yourself at slams and how you handle the the slam experience nowadays, um, is it different than before? And is it different because of just how you changed as a person, or are there actual things that you do differently now in terms of managing your slam? Uh, yeah, managing your slam than you did like before, maybe like a year or two before. I have that sweater too. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed it. Um, Good sweater. Okay. Yeah. Um, your question. Yeah, I feel like for me, uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed. Hello, how are you today? I was going to interrupt your interview, but I felt like I, I shouldn't. Okay. Okay. Good you one today. Hmm? You shouldn't hesitate next time. Okay, I heard you had a flip-flop dilemma. Yeah. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. 
Okay. See you. Sorry about Okay, see you. Bye. 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 Uh, your question. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like for me, even today, um, I thought that there were things that um, I share with my team that I wouldn't have shared before, like even last year, um, because going into this match, I was really nervous and I actually had a really bad dream about it. And for me, my dreams are very um, like telling of the future. Like usually I have dreams and they come true. So um, last night I had a dream that I lost this match and I really didn't feel good about it. Um, so then I just talked to my team and um, I don't know, I felt better about the situation. And also, like, going into this match, I just thought that I'm not able to, like, control what she's going to do, and I can only control what I'm going to do. And I also think that's the reason why I was serving so well, because theoretically serving's the one thing that you can control in tennis. Thank you. Just to let everyone know, that was Igor Sviatek that joined us earlier in the press conference. But if we have one more English question online, could you please raise your hand? Thank you from The Guardian. From The Guardian to Maney, your question, please. Hi, Naomi. Um, uh, first of all, I'm curious, what has been your worst tennis-related dream? Oh... Oh, gosh. Um, honestly, I don't know why this happens a lot. And it usually happens when I'm in the airplane. Um, so usually I have this dream where I'm hitting a backhand rally with someone. And I um, hit the backhand into the net. And I wake up. So then I wake up hitting the backhand. And the person next to me on the airplane is so scared. <laughs> and that's usually what happens. Um, and I don't know why it's always so intense. Like, the rally is always super intense. But I would say that's the most vivid, like, tennis-related dream I always have. And, and a real question. Um, like, on, on the right, you mentioned the Rising Stars, and both Carolyn and Ons were there. I'm curious just what's, like, what is your memory of, of that whole event? And, like, did you feel you belonged among players like that at that time? Um, yeah, for me, it was... Um, Probably one of the most stressful but fun things that I've I did in that timeline, um, and for me, I don't know. I've never been invited to something that like professional. I would say um, to be surrounded by the top ten and like see how everyone works was really fun for me and um, inspiring. Um, but I would say I kind of felt like I. I kind of felt like I didn't belong. Like, I was really trying to, like, um, uh, I don't know, prove myself in a way because I felt like uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know if I was the lowest-ranked person there, but I felt like something like um, I really wanted to do well in order to fit in um, because I vividly remember Carolyn being in, like, the top 40 or something around that time, and I was like, whoa, like, why am I here? Um, but, yeah, it was fun. Thank you to our online English questions. We will now move back in the room for national language. お疲れ様です。あの、さっきま、キャロライン、しばらくやってなかった。ま、あの、ツアーでは初めてなので、どういう風なボールが来るかわからないって言ってましたけれど、ま、皆さんすごくこう、本大会、相手対戦相手をこ
I knew that she was going to be aggressive on my second serve, so I felt like I, I had to do better there. But it's okay if, um, you know, she hits winners on me. I just have to um, keep staying steady. あの、ライジングスターの時にもま、キャロライン Yeah, I, I think I do remember that match because um Ons was like the only person that would talk to me. Um and she was just super nice and inviting and uh, I remember when I played her there, she was like doing these things that I've never seen before, hitting drop shots, um, and then hitting like flat out winners right off the bat. So I was kind of, I don't know. When I was playing her, I was studying her and being very impressed at the same time. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> no, I, I really don't think that's my, um, my description. <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll go to a couple of online questions. Our first one from Nikkei Masako. あ、こんにちは。こんにちは。あの、全米 um, yeah, I would definitely say I've focused a lot on my returns during the off season. Um, uh, for me, that was the one thing I really wanted Wim to help me with um, because when I played the finals um, in New York, v uh, Vika was really like pressuring me on my serves and I just wanted to have a return like her to be honest because I felt like if I have a good serve and a good return then um, it'll kind of increase my chances a lot so I definitely wanted to do well in that area and I think that um, it might be showing a little bit hopefully I'll um, get even better than this. Thank you, and I'm sorry we have time for one more question. So from Sportiva Hitoshi, your question, thank you. あの、去年のUSオープンで、あの、ウィムフィセット I mean, yes, I do feel that way. Um, I feel like, you know, you could you could be full of information, like your coach can tell you a lot of information, but in the end it's what you do with it. Um, so I, I never really believe in, like, following the rules exactly. Um, so I think for me, I try to figure out the person while I'm playing the match and also taking into consideration what Wim told me. So if that is considered intuition, then um, yeah, I think I do pretty all right there. Thank you, everyone. That concludes our press conference with Naomi Osaka. Oh, thank you, honey.